This video is from a show called The Isaiah Factor. I never heard of it. Maybe it's not um, in New York or New Jersey, but it's on Fox 26. I do not own the rights. It's a news program. And this video is for education purposes only. So check it out. Okay, here we go. The Isaiah Factor Uncensored starts right now. And welcome to The Factor Uncensored. Tonight we take you to the West Coast, where a high school has to call off their football season this year after students showed their racism. School officials at River Valley High School in Yuba City, California, say the season was canceled after members of the football team filmed themselves recreating a slave auction. It's where they sold off their black teammates in that auction that they videotaped. Now, the students who took part in the video have been banned from playing this year. The district also launched an investigation. Tonight, we talk about why didn't they know any better? Okay, um, anyway, what happened was the students at this school, the football team got together and they decided to reenact a slave auction with the black students as slaves and the white students selling them. Now, I've seen this video a couple of times, but this is the first time that they blurred everything out, which to me don't make no sense. What you blurring stuff out for? They got on clothes. Anyway, um, it's really a weird situation because it doesn't seem like a comedy skit. And it doesn't seem funny. It just seems strange for white students and black students to get up and recreate a slave auction, which slavery led to the destruction of many black, of all back then, black families to the point that a lot of black people like me can't even trace our roots back because all our ancestors was, were um, brought and sold. The trauma of slavery is still relevant today. It's called multi-generational trauma. And um, it's very difficult to live life every day being treated like, a, you know, a second-class citizen. And not only from white people, but from people of all backgrounds and orientation. It, it just seems like black people always get the worst end of the stick. And I'm going to prove that to you by saying this little thing that I've been thinking about. In every race, right, they have a derogatory term to describe their, um, you know, their heritage, the N-word for black people. And then for others, they have their own derogatory terms. Yet, everyone only wants to say the N-word. Take a moment to think about that for a minute. Why are you not walking around saying the slur to Latins? Why are you not walking around saying the slur to Polish? Why are you not walking around saying the slur to Asians? Why is it that everybody throughout the universe only wants to say, it, say the slur that pertains to black people? Think about it. Get back to me and let me know what you think.
And don't come up with, oh, because black people call each other that. If black people jump off the roof, you're going to jump off the roof too? I doubt it. Okay. That's enough of my educational video today. Be sure to <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. Take care, be safe, be well, and adios, amigos. Okay.